Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hi, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. So, first of all, I am very sorry for waiting you guys for a long time. So, there are some personal issues that's why I can't make the videos for a long time period. Okay? So, now I am back so you guys you guys will get the videos in a regular interval. Okay? So, today's topic is that so we will discuss today that about different types of weights in selenium okay so before going to the topic so why, why the weights is required so this question comes in our mind first that why these weights are required while we are doing some automation for a web application or a mobile application this kind of thing okay so what happened actually when you are loading a web page for a web application so all the elements it's the or not all the elements, the elements require some time to load actually to show in the browser okay so it needs some time so if we are trying to find or do any operation or try to do interact with that those elements before it get loaded so it will throw exception it throw error actually so selenium throw exceptions so that's why we need some weights so weights means that we will wait for a certain time or with some conditions uh, uh like something like that based on some conditions or something like that so based on that one it will wait if till that time if it is not get loaded it will throw exception so at least we can give a chance that okay i am waiting for you if you are not coming within this time period okay so then i will throw this exception or error okay so there are three different types of weights are available in selenium that's are implicit weight explicit weight and the fluent weight okay so what is implicit weights so implicit weight is that what is that it's used to tell web driver to wait for a certain amount of time before it throws a no such element exception so it's a fixed thing okay we will write in our code a fixed amount of time so it will wait it will be applicable for all the elements well, whatever the elements we will do operations for those elements we will write in our code for it will be applicable for all those elements okay not like that all the elements are available in the page not like that whatever the elements we will work on for for writing our automation script for all those elements it will be applicable okay and what is explicit weight explicit weight is nothing like that so it is the same kind of thing but it is it will wait for a certain conditions okay we will give a condition so what is the difference that so implicit will wait when we, are, we will write a code for implicit weight so it will be applicable for all the elements but for explicit weight it will be we will write the weight thing and all with the conditions so it will be for a particular element okay that's why we are telling that for a particular condition certain condition would uh, the driver will wait okay and the last in the last one is the last type is that the fluent weight i'll come later this part okay so let's go to the code first how to write the code so this is the way we can write the implicit weight okay and if i open the documentation also this is the documentation i'll share this link with you guys okay so this is the documentation here you can see that how you can write this one so there is a that driver dot manage dot set timeouts implicit you have to give the time these are the milliseconds actually it's accepted with the millisecond that's why it's a 10,000 millisecond means that 10 seconds so after that whatever whenever we will write any operations for an element like find, find elements for this particular id or any other thing so this implicit weight uh, weight will work applicable for all the elements okay so here also I have given so for google.com I have used this one so I am what I am doing that if I am doing uh, I'll do something like that uh, await driver dot find element okay something like that name Q okay if it is find that element that's fine if it is not find that element then what will happen it will wait for 10 seconds okay if it is not find within 10 seconds so it will throw exception okay so let's check that one or, okay so let's run this code okay 
okay so there is no error because this name q it has been found now make it to a okay so a there is nothing no element present in that web page by name a okay so that's why it's waiting it's just, it will wait for 10 seconds so it waits for 10 seconds then it throw error that no such element exception okay unable to locate if now what i will do that i am commenting out this implicit wait part okay now i am try uh, running this code again immediately it throws that error that no such element it doesn't wait for it didn't wait for any time okay so i think now you guys understand that what is implicit wait okay so the wait i have mentioned here it will be applicable for all the elements i will do the operations okay in my code now the part is that the second part the second part is that explicit wait what is explicit wait i have mentioned already that so i have to give a part i have to give the wait how long it will wait and a particular conditions okay a certain certain condition so what i have how you can write this one there is a you have already i have shown you guys that how you can write the what is the syntax in node.js how you can write uh, write the implicit weight now this is the time for explicit weight okay so driver dot wait until element located this one and same thing 10 seconds i have given okay so until that element not has been located it will wait okay there are different type of uh, conditions you can see okay let me try until you can see that element is disabled element is enabled element is not selected element is not visible there are so many uh, conditions are available okay title contains or something like that so you guys can try all these things if you are facing any issue you can just do a comment on this video or you can directly you guys can email to me also okay so i'm giving an example with one this one okay let's try to run this one okay it has been found because there is a element with the name of q now i am giving that element b okay let's try to run this one for this one also again it will wait for 10 seconds it's waiting 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 now it has been throw that error okay so wait for the element to be located that because i have given a certain conditions that conditions through that through a timeout error waiting for an element to be located okay that name is b okay a different type of error you can see that one as i have mentioned a particular condition that's why it has given it throws that error with that uh, conditions details okay so this is explicit weight and i have shown you guys that there are different type of conditions are available you guys can try as i mentioned that try all those based on your requirement you have to try the you have to write the conditions actually and last one is that fluent weight what is fluent weight fluent weight is nothing but that it's exactly same like explicit weight with two extra con thing okay what is the two extra thing that one message you can give and there is a polling kind of thing you can say that so for this one explicit weight i have given 10 seconds so it will wait for exactly 10 seconds within 10 seconds after 10 seconds it will try to uh, locate the element again if it is not able to find for that certain condition it will throw error but in fluent way every two seconds i have given that two element after this one I, you can see that timed out after 10 seconds one that is a message and last one is that 2000 millisecond means that two second every two second it will try to find that element okay kind of polling kind of thing so every two second it will check that okay if you know, it will not su suppose think that here 10 seconds is fine so for your case there is a case that the any particular element it's required uh sometimes it's required 20 seconds to load sometimes it's required 25 seconds sometimes it requires 18 seconds sometimes it requires 15 seconds so what i have to do that if you give a condition something like wait uh time like that 30 seconds so it will wait for 30 seconds every time 
instead of that one if you give a option that every five the time limit is 30 second but every five seconds it will try to locate that element if it is not it but it will wait until 30 seconds if it is fine in between so once it will find it will break that one and it will go on okay so that's why that's why it's called a fluent weight you can find here also okay so what is said the uh, the fluent weight instance defines the, defines the maximum amount of time to wait for a condition as well as the frequency which to check the condition okay so same thing as i have mentioned that one so it's very useful actually fluent weight where i have seen that one in real life examples okay so let's run this code with a it will not able to find so but in every two seconds it will try to locate that element actually okay and once it will not able to find so it is throwing this error that i have uh, written that message that timed out after 10 seconds okay so these are the three weights are available in the selenium okay so and these are very easy actually okay if you guys have any doubt any questions okay just do a comment on this video okay and i'll try to reply that one and if you guys like this video please share with others also and please do subscribe my channel also for others videos okay and thank you bye for now